بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي وسلم على رسوله الكريم اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله عز وجل في شان حديثه ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى ال سيدنا ومولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصل عليه الصلاه والسلام عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله خذ بيدي قلته التي يدركني مرادي يا رسول الله صلى الله تعالى عليك وسلم ذا تشيف جيست حضره مولانا فيض المدارن صاحب the community police representatives president president of new zealand muslim league executives of sama hujjaj e kiram ulama e kiram sayyid sahab hafiz sahab mujhe samne kiram on behalf of manutul islam trust i wish to extend my a, a very well <coughs> warm welcome to you all alhamdulillah for taking this opportunity to be present here on this very very auspicious occasion to celebrate the birthday anniversary of our holy prophet muhammad rasulullah sallallahu taala alayhi wa sallam mujhe samne kiram we would like to commence with the program and until such time that we get more people because normally it's a practice that we never arrive on time uh, i would like to call upon shayan rafi to come forward and say anate rasul shayan rafi lal aaya amina kalal aaya amina kalal aaya amina kalal آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آ گیا وہ نور والا جس کی اونچی شان ہے آ گیا وہ نور والا جس کی اونچی شان ہے جس کی مدہت میں اتارا رب نے یہ قرآن ہے آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا ہو بیا کے سے فضیلت آمین کے چاند کی ہو بیا کے سے فضیلت آمین کے چاند کی اس کی تو ہر ہر ادا پر بولتا قرآن ہے آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا جو کہا میرے نبی نے وہ ہمیشہ سچ ہوا جو کہا میرے نبی نے وہ ہمیشہ سچ ہوا ہو بہو تسلیم کرتا آج سائنس دان ہے آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آیا آمین کلا آمین تج کو مبارک تیرے گھر جلوا فگن آمین تج کو مبارک تیرے گھر جلوا فگن آج وہ ماہ رسال 
सत नबियों का सुल्तान है आमिना का लाल आया आमिना का लाल आया आमिना का लाल आया आमिना का लाल जजाकला खैरा Alhamdulillah, barakallah. That was Shayan Ravi. Mashallah. These are our pupils from the Madrasa class. And I would like to give credit to our Mulbi Haji, Haji here, uh, Razak Sahab. He has been very instrumental into training our little ones to learn our deen and, uh, and, and, and clear practice, as well as he has been teaching Quran for five years. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him more courage to do work of the deen in the future, in alhamdulillah. Now I would like to call upon Muhammad Afsar to please come forward and say a nati rasul. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Sallallahu alayka ya ya rasul Allah wa sallam alayka ya habib Allah. Sallallahu alayka ya ya rasul Allah wa sallam alayka ya habib Allah. Di hazrat Bilal ne kabe se jab sada hayya ala sala hayya ala al fala alam me amna re tohid ho gaya hayya ala sala hayya ala al fala irshad kibriya hai elan mustafa hayya ala sala hayya ala al fala hayya ala sala hayya ala al fala پیدا ہوئے رسول تو رحمت بڑس پری تھی عرش سے زمین تلک نور کی جڑی دائی حلیم گوند میں لے کر جو چل پڑی بیمار اٹھنی میں عجب جان پر گئی بعد سبان جوم کے کانوں میں یوں کہا ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا ارشاد کبریہ ہے اعلان مصطفیٰ ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا پوچھا جو ان کے در پہ مقدر سور گیا مارہ رسے ہے شہر بریلی کا سلسلہ بغداد سے ہے شہر مدینہ کا رابطہ گو سلورا کا نام سے دل کو سکو ملا جبریل آئے نصب علم کعب پر کیا ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا ارشاد کبریہ ہے اعلان مصطفیٰ ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا میراج میں جو رب نے بلایا حضور کو جبریل آئے اور جگایا حضور کو حق کی رضا کا جام پلایا حضور کو چلنے لگے تو رب نے بتایا حضور کو امت سے جا کے کہنا یہی توفہ ہے ملا ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا داڑی تمام نبیوں کی سنت ہے مومنو اسلام کا شعار ہے رحمت ہے مومنو سرکار کی گلامی کی نسبت ہے مومنو سنت پہ جو چلا اسے جنت ہے مومنو جنت میں بھی ملے گا ہمیں قرب مصطفیٰ ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا میرا جروح اہل بصیرت نماز ہے افضل شگل سعادت افضل ترین شگل سعادت نماز ہے میرے نبی کی آنکھ کی ٹھنڈک نماز ہے مومن کے واسطے تو سعادت نماز ہے یہ ہے کلیم مزر الطاف کبریہ ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا ارشاد کبریہ ہے اعلان مصطفیٰ ہیا علی السلا ہیا علی الفلا شکریہ موجز سامن اکرام افسار کٹی 
also one of our peoples from the madrasa class, mashallah. Once again, I would like to give the credit to Malvi Saif. He has been working very hard to get our youngsters to be uh, given better knowledge in Islam and, and a better practice to be a better citizen in this country. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Now, I think we have been waiting long enough, so we would like to really start on. So, before we start, we, it is our practice that we recite the ayats of the Quran. And I would like to extend an invitation to Hafiz Sayyid Nabi to please come and give a tilawat the Quran so we can officially open this program. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the reward of listening to the Quran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرح man علم القرآن خلق علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخزروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن علم القرآن خلق الإنسان
Allamahul bayan الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقص ولا تخسر الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان آمنت بالله صدق الله مولانا العلي العظيم الحمد لله شكرا حفيظ سيد نبي عبد الله Moses Samin Ikram, Hafiz Sahib has been with us for many, many years. He has, uh, I would like to give actual credit to his Abba, Sayyid Sahib. He's, been, he's there sometimes the first person in our masjid for the prayer of Jum'ah. MashaAllah, his presence with us in every occasion is a blessing to us because he is one of the descendants of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we are really, really proud to have both Hafiz Sahab and his Abba Huzur here in this majlis today. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala grant his best of wisdom upon both of them. Moses Samin Ikram, now I would like to invite one of the most important figure or personality in our trust. Without him, we are uh, not fully equipped. Although Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best, but one thing is that all the last 13 years from the very first uh, start of this trust till today, he has been instrumental in every way possible that we run our trust to the best best of our knowledge best of our abilities may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give brother haji tahir samad best best of wisdom best of blessings and i make dua that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala extend his life more and be with us. So I would like to invite, invite Brother Haji Tahir Samad, the Chairman of the Trust, to please officially open this uh, meeting tonight. Alhamdulillah. Inna Allahe malaikatahu Ya saluna ala nabi ya ayyuhallazina amnu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال محمد وبارك وسلم ذا ماستر اوف سيرمني حاجي عبد الكريم صمد او گیسٹ سپیکر فیصل مولانا فیصل مداوی فروم ہولینڈ انوائٹڈ گیسٹ حاجی صاحبان خواتین حضرات السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ All praises are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most gracious and most merciful, and unlimited darud and salam to our universal Rasul, our Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Firstly, we are very grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us life, health and opportunity to be present here tonight on this occasion of Eid Miladun Nabi. On behalf of Muslim Islam Trust of New Zealand, I extend to you all a cordial welcome on this Maulu celebration. My heart is full of joy to see so many of you present here tonight, united for the love of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is a requirement of the Holy Quran to show respect on the birthday of Maulud of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Ta'ala says, O Prophet, say to Ummah, in the grace of Almighty and His mercy, in that let them rejoice, that is better than the wealth they accumulate. Surah Inus 58. In this ayat, Almighty Allah has ordered us to rejoice on this grace and His mercy. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the greatest mercy of Allah Ta'ala to all the world as Allah Ta'ala says, we sent not to you but as a rahma, mercy for all worlds. Surya Ambaya, Ayat 107. Furthermore, our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, none of you is a perfect mumin or believer unless I am dearer to him than his parents, his children and everything else. I am confident that tonight's speeches from our learned speakers will enhance our knowledge of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On this joyous occasion and for the love of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I pledge to all brothers to forget the past differences, change the attitudes, have right intentions, and join our hands for building a mosque at 45 Thomas Road for a guide in next year. I hope that when you leave this function tonight, the knowledge gained from his, our speakers will be put into practice into our everyday lives, and hence will make each of us a better person. Jazakullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, that was our chairman of the trust. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him more life and better health to be with us and we together, as he has stated, inshallah in the future, make a masjid. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us this ability to do so. Moses Samin Iqram, it is a huge advantage to anybody to embed in his heart love for Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam has said, لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده ووالده والناس أجمعين. None of you will have faith till he loves me more than his parents, his children, and all mankind. This means the perfection of faith will only be achieved if Rasulullah صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم is our main love. Surpassing the love of our family and wealth and everything else. So, without further ado, I would like to in, invite our very important uh, key in our trust, and um, I would say steering wheel, which uh, is controlled, to do the driving around, Brother uh, Azad Sheikh, to come and introduce our chief guest, Brother Sheikh. Azad. 
Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Uh, begin in the name of Allah, the creator and sustainer of the universe, and my salutations and salam to our holy prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa Just for general information, we have got the presence of uh, Constable Satbir Sen and Constable Masha Muhammad from the County of Monaco Community Police Force. They are here today for two reasons. One, to show their support for this function and also to let the community know that the New Zealand Police Force are willing to integrate with the community at large. And if you have uh, got any issues, if you want to discuss some, anything, the door is open. Also, they are on a recruitment drive as well. Uh, for those who want to join the police force, feel free to discuss uh, with uh, Constable Mohammed and uh, Shen. Hazrat Mulana Faisal Madaran Sahab. The Madhu Islam Association had the privilege of uh, hosting Mulana Sahib at our function, at our Juma program yesterday. And one of the things he said during the function was, Agar koi Allah Ta'ala ke tarif karna chahe, to shirf Allah hi kar sakta hai. Agar koi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ke tarif karna chahe, to shirf Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam aur Allah Ta'ala hi kar sakta hai. Hum Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ke baare mein kuch nahi jaanti, wa humare bahi jaisa bilkul nahi hai. Agar koi Hazrat Sahib ke taruf karna chahte hai, to wahi kar sakta hai, jo se jaanta hai. I would like to take this opportunity to call upon the Secretary for South African Muslim Association and the Secretary for Fiance, not because he holds the two prestigious positions, but because he had the privilege of hosting Malana Sahib for a week at his place. And I'm sure that he knows a lot about Malana Sahib that we don't know. So let's call upon Brother Ibrahim to tell us about Malana Sahib. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala srafil mursaleen. Amma ba'da uz billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhul ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma sallu ala sayyidana awlana muhammad. Wa ala ala sayyidana awlana muhammad inu abarik wa sallimu alayhi. Assalatu wassalamu alayka ya rasulallah. Assalatu wa salamu alayka ya Habib Allah. Assalatu wa salamu alayka ya Alhamdulillah Ameen. Our respected Master of Ceremony, Haji Molvi Safis, respected Chief Guest, Hazrat Alama Maulana Muhammad Faizal Madaran, the Chair of Mayatul Islam Trust New Zealand, Haji Tahir Samad, Haji Mulvi Azak, Haji Mulvi Hassan, the President of New Zealand Muslim League, Haji Mohammed Hassan, members of New Zealand Police Force, Constable Sadhvir and Constable Muhammad, invited guests, brothers, sisters, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It is indeed a blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have been able to gather here to this evening to celebrate and commemorate the birth of our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Mahabub ke mehfil hai, mahabub sajate hai, aate hai wahi jise sarkar bulate hai. Indeed, we are more blessed that today we have amongst us a very learned scholar, Hazrat Alama Muhammad Faisal Madaran, who comes from Netherlands, about halfway across the world, and he's taken his time out to join us here on this very auspicious occasion after delivering a series of lectures in Fiji. Hazrat Saab graduated from Jamia Islamia, now known as Hijaz College in the United Kingdom. The founder of the college, Pire Tariqat Muzar Islam, Hazrat Alama Morana Abdul Wahab Siddiqui, radiallahu anhu, was his wastad. At the time of his graduation in 1990, he was the youngest Dutch-speaking scholar 
in Europe. After graduation, he served as the press imam in Denmark, Sweden, at the headquarters of Minhajul Quran and several other countries. He was the first to start Daras al Quran course in Dutch language. In 1992, he was appointed the principal of Hijaj College and played a very vital role in setting up the college. And in 1994, he completed his master's degree in theology at the University of Amsterdam. Amongst other activities and achievement, Hazrat Alama Maulana Faisal Madaran started translation of the Holy Quran in Dutch language. He introduced various workshops and lectures. He is actively engaged in interfaith dialogues. He was a teacher of Madrasa Anwarul Uloom in Amsterdam. He is providing Islamic lectures on Dutch TV on a weekly basis. His lect he lectures in various Dutch high schools. He is a representative, representative and spokesperson at the local council in Islamic matters. He was also instru instrumental in setting up Jamia in Brisbane, Australia. He was recently involved in setting up an educational center in Amsterdam, and he's also the president of IMIO, an organization that deals with social services, and is also able to communicate in numerous languages, alhamdulillah, and the list goes on. So I'm, I'm not going to take more of his time, but inshallah, I think I have given enough so that we know that we have a very learned international scholar, and inshallah, he will be delivering speech. The maqsad, the niya, that we are here today, that we learn something from him, and we uh, uh, accept the message that he's going to deliver. Jazakallah khair. And at this time, I would like to call Molana Sahib. Sorry, before I call Molana Sahib, I would like to invite uh, Rihan Hamza uh, for a nath. Rihan Hamza. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sallallahu alayka ya ya rasul allah wa sallam alayka ya habib allah hum apne nabi paak se yun pyar karenge हम अपने नबी पाक से यूं प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मिलाद करेंगे हम अपने नबी पाक से यूं प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मिलाद करेंगे मेरे नबी आ गए मरहबा या मुस्तफा प्यारे नबी आ गए मरहबा या मुस्तफा लज्पाल नबी आ गए मरहबा या मुस्तफा साहिब में राज नबी नबियों के सर ताज नबी आसियों के लाज नबी कल भी थे और आज नबी दो जहां के लाज वाले मेरे नबी आ गए हर खारजी फसादी वतन से भगाएंगे हर खारजी फसादी वतन से भगाएंगे पढ़ के दुरूद सबको मिलादी बनाएंगे लाएंगे हम हुजूर का इस्लाम तख्त पर लाएंगे हम हुजूर का इस्लाम तख्त पर ला देनियत के सारे बुतों को गिराएंगे हम अपने नबी पाक से यूं प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मिलाद करेंगे कुछ जलने वाले देखे कहते हैं हमेशा सरकार की आमद पे लगाते हैं क्यों पैसा 
कुछ जल्ली वाल देखिए के ते हमेशा सरकार की आमद पे लगाते हैं क्यों पैसा ये पैसा तो क्या चीज है हम घर भी लुटा दे ये पैसा तो क्या चीज है हम घर भी लुटा दे कोई नहीं जहान में सरकार के जैसा हम अपने नबी पाक से यू प्यार करेंगे हम अपने नबी पाक से यू प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मीलाद करेंगे तकलीफ होती है तुझे मिर्ची भी लगती है तकलीफ होती है तुझे मिर्ची भी लगती है जब बारहवीं पे लाइटों से गलियां भी सजती है क्यों चिड़ता है तू देख के झंडों की बहारे क्यों चिड़ता है तू देख के झंडों की बहारे ताजीम नबी हो तो सभी अच्छी लगती है हम अपने नबी पाक से यूँ प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मीलाद करेंगे निसार तेरी चहल पहल पर हजारों ईदे रबी लोअल सिवाय बिली सिके जहाँ में सभी तो खुशियाँ मना रहे लालच न दो नाम मोहम्मद पे मरेंगे मीलाद पे सब जो तकिया हैं न करेंगे लालच न दो नाम मोहम्मद पे मरेंगे मीलाद पे सब जो तकिया हैं न करेंगे बर्दाश्त न करेंगे जुलों सो पे रुकावट बर्दाश्त न करेंगे जुलों सो पे रुकावट मीलाद मोहम्मद का मिशन जारी रखेंगे हम अपने नबी पाक से यूं प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मीलाद करेंगे तेरा खावा मैं तेरे गीत गावा तेरा खावा मैं तेरे गीत गावा यार सुन अल्लाह यार सुन अल्लाह तेरा मीला द मैं क्यों ना मनावा यार सुन अल्लाह तालीम पहले ढूंगा मोहम्मद के जश्न की तहसीब सिखाऊंगा मोहम्मद के जश्न की फिर से मैं छोड़ जाऊंगा मीलाद की लगन फिर से मैं छोड़ जाऊंगा मीलाद की लगन मेरे भी बच जश्न विलादत मनाएंगे हम अपने नबी पाक से यूँ प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मीलाद करें कीमत जहां में अपनी हो जा गई गिराएंगे आका को छोड़ कर कभी इज्जत न पाओगे मजबूत कर लो रिश्ता नबी से तुझिएगा मजबूत कर लो रिश्ता नबी से तुझिएगा रिश्ता नबी से तोड़ेंगे तो टूट जाएंगे हम अपने नबी पाक से यू प्यार करेंगे हर हाँ हाल में सरकार का मीलाद करेंगे हम अपने नबी पाक से यूँ प्यार करेंगे हर हाल में सरकार का मीलाद करेंगे जजाकला खैर माशाल्लाह अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया रेहान हमजा मुझे सामने कराम रेहान हमजा इज वन ऑफ आवर स्टूडेंट्स इन फ्राइडे क्लासेस where we train our boys to do milad e rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam i would like to also welcome the fresh imam of jami masjid al mustafa uh, imam haji mulbi safi sahab to have uh, uh, join us in this celebration mujhe samin e karam another hadith of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says man ab habbani kana ma'iya fil jannah whoever loves me will be with me in paradise and this is corroborated by another hadith anta ma'a man hababta 
you will be together with whom you love in the hereafter. So if we express our love and affection to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, we will be with the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam in Jannah. And now I would like to invite our guest to give his khutbah, give his speech, and I'm sure all of us will greatly appreciate his knowledge. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam says, al ulama warathul anbiya the ulama a rabbani the ulama who are the scholars are the true heirs of the holy prophet sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam so i would like to now invite hazrat maulana faizal madaran sahab to please give his lecture for tonight maulana sahab meri maa wa behno assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh allah tabarak wa ta'ala का शुक्र है कि उसने मुझे और आपको ये सुनहरी मौका अता फरमाया जिसमें हम अल्लाह और उसके महबूब सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम का जिक्र करके न सिर्फ सवाब दारेन हासिल कर सकें लेकिन हमारा ये जरिया निजात भी हो सकता है मैं जमात मानतुल इस्लाम और उनके तमाम कारकुन को तहदील से शुक्र अदा करता हूँ कि आपने मुझे दावत देकर इज़्ज़त अफजाई की है अल्लाह तबारक व ताल आपकी जमात को दिन दुगनी रात चुगनी तरक्की कामयाबी और कामरानी अता फ़रमाए इन शजीज़ आठ बजे तक प्रोग्राम है जो कुछ मुझे आप तक पहुँचाना है इसी समय में इन शजीज़ कोशिश होगी कि आसान अल्फाज में आई विल बी ऑल्सो स्पीकिंग इन इंग्लिश इन आप तक पहुंचाया जाए अल्लाह तबारक व ताली से दुआ करें कि अल्लाह ताली मुझे हक़ और सच कहने की तोफ़ी अता फ़रमाए और हम सब को हक सुन कर उसको कबूल करके उस पर अमल करने की तोफ़ी अता फ़रमाए आप लोग बहुत आराम से बैठे हैं लेकिन आपकी हाज़री आपने सुबहान अल्लाह की आवाज़ में और जज्बा ईमानी दिखाने की सूरत में होनी चाहिए तो आप साथ देंगे इन मुझे भी मज़ा आएगा आपको भी मज़ा आएगा एक मरतबा बुलंद आवाज़ कह दीजिए सुबहान अल्लाह सब मिलकर कहे सुबह अल्लाह अब एक मरतबा मिलकर भी दरुद शरीफ पढ़े अल्लाह मसल सैदीना मौलाना मोहम्मद मालिकिल्लौ 
who is our creator who is our sustainer Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala is maliki yawmiddin he is the master of the day of judgment to make sure that no one makes the excuse on the day of judgment by saying, Ya Allah, I did not know about your existence. I did not know about your message. Allah wa ta'ala sent 124,000 Anbiya alayhimu salatu wa salam to convey his message to mankind. No matter where you are, what you do, are you educated? You live in the desert, the message of Allah wa ta'ala will definitely come to you. 
And if we look around the world, there is no country in which there is not a Muslim. Everywhere early in the morning before the birds start singing we hear Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar we hear the call towards prayer And what a sweet sound it is. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the greatest. There is no one, no being greater than Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Why? Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is not created. Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is not made. He has no beginning. He has no end. He created us. He knows what is best for mankind. And in his wisdom, he gave mankind the best of his creation. قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُور مل کر کہہ دیجئے سب مل کر کہیں قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala says, indeed, has arrived. He's not yet to come. No, he has arrived. And who sends? Minallah. The creator himself. Allah khud bhejne wala hai. Kya bheja, kisko bheja? نور خدا نے نور بھیجا جب کسی کے گھر میں اولاد ہوتی ہے when a mother gives birth the very first question that is asked is it a boy or is it a girl? We ask. So when Hazrat Amina radiallahu ta'ala anha gave birth to Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, she was asked, is it a boy or is it a girl? Now listen carefully to her answer. خَرَجَ مِنِّي نُور أضاءت ما حولهُ ما بين المشرق والمغرب I did not give birth to a girl. I did not give birth to a boy. I gave birth to Noor. I gave birth to Noor. I gave birth to Noor. Aisa Noor? Adaat minhu ma bayna al-mashriqi wal-maghrib. I was in my house 
and I could see the far east and I could see the far west. These are the words of Hadrat Amina radiallahu ta'ala anha. She says, I gave birth to Noor. Now, you know, that the mother of the mother will be able to do the same Who knows best? The mother or the neighbor? So, the neighbor will say that the Noor is not the neighbor ki baat to nahi manenge we will listen to what the mother says she knows best she gave birth so allah tabaraka wa ta'ala says qad ja'akum min allah noor maa ne kaha maine noor jana خدا نے کہا میں نے نور بھیجا اب مصطفیٰ سے بھی ذرا پوچھ لیتے ہیں لیٹس آسک محمد رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم یا رسول اللہ آپ کی حقیقت ہے کیا آر یو لائک اس ہیومن آر یو نور what are you? And when did Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala create you? Because if you are a human, then you were born according to the Gregorian calendar on the 20th of April 571. Yeah, 20th of April 571. Three days. Three days Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spent with his mother. Hadrat Amina radiallahu ta'ala anha drank her milk. The following four days Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam drank milk from Hadrat Suwaiba radiallahu ta'ala anha. One week after the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet was taken away by Dai Halima radiallahu ta'ala anha. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spent five years, five years with Hadrat Halima radiallahu ta'ala anha. It was custom. It was tradition in Arab that babies born in cities were taken away to villages for the fresh air so that their upbringing would be good in a, in a fresh environment, in a healthy environment. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam spent five years the first five years of his physical life with Dai Halima. Then the Prophet came back. At the age of six, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made his first journey from Makkah to Medina with his mother, Hadrat Amina radiallahu ta'ala anha. And just outside Medina to Munawwara, there is a valley called Abuwa. Hadrat Amina radiallahu ta'ala anha passed away at Abuwa. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his father Hadrat Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu already passed away six months before the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam at the age of six was an orphan. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam traveled from Abuwa with 
حضرت ام ایمن رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ تو مکہ where he spent two years with his grandfather Hadrat Abdul Muttalib at the age of eight the grandfather of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left this world then the custody was in the hands of Hadrat Abu Talib the father of حضرت علی رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ with him at the age of 12 رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم made another journey that journey was from مکہ to یمن at the age of 12 and when they came back that Abu Talib also passed away. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reached the age of 15, close to 16, I'm giving you a bit uh, background information about the youth of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We rarely hear these things. At the age of 15, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saw that in Saudi Arabia, at that moment it was called Al-Hijaz, Al-Hijaz al-Muqaddas. There were many tribes fighting with each other. And Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam at the age of 15, started to negotiate with the leaders of these tribes. At the age of 16, all the leaders got together and they made a vow. In Arabic we say they make a half, oath that we will not attack each other. That is now written in history as Hilful Fudul. That pact that was made, Hilful Fudul. That was at the age of 16. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reached the age of 30, Abi Elani Nabuwat Niwa. No one knows that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the Prophet of Allah. At the age of 30, the Arabs gave Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam a title for his honesty, being trustworthy. They gave him the title of Al-Ameen. Most trustworthy at the age of 30. Then, at the age of 25, I'm going back five years, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam marries Hadrat Khadija al Kubra radiyallahu ta'ala anha. Now you have to remember, keep in mind that the society, the environment in Arab was as such that widows did not have any right to be married again. No one would marry a widow, and if anyone did, how polluted the Arabs were and their minds were, it would be the son marrying his own mother. This is Arab. 
and otherwise he would be buried alive along with her dead husband. This was the position of the women in Saudi Arabia back then. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 25 years old, he is in the peak of his life, handsome, beautiful, Noor jo hai. He is Noor. And whom does he marry? He marries a woman who is 15 years older, who is 40, who married twice, who already had children. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a bachelor marries a mom of two children. Imagine that. Lillahi mulku samawati wal ard yakhluku ma yasha Giving this position to women, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala announces in the Quran. He creates whatever he wants. He gives whatever he wants. And he says, Yahabu liman yasha'u inatha. I give a girl, a baby girl to whom I want. Wa yahabu liman yasha'u dhukur. And I give, I give baby boys to whom I want. Now, if we look at this ayat karima closely, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala did not mention the boy first. He mentioned the girl first. Beti ko pehle mention kiya. Because my Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came as rahmatul lil alameen. He came to show people whether you are a male or female. Being male, being stronger, physically stronger, does not make you better than a woman. No. Inna akram inna akramakum indallahi atqakum. The best amongst you is he or she who has the strongest faith. Jo sabse zyada parhezgar hai, khuda ke nazdeek wo sabse behter hai. Ab mard ho ya aurat ho. That is what Islam is teaching us. That is the message of Islam. Almost 1500 years ago, Islam introduced women rights. Then, Islam says, you want paradise? Your paradise is here on earth. Find it 
on the defeat of your mother. Jannat tere maa ko tere maa ke qadmo ke niche hai. This is how Islam uplifted the position of the mother. Your wife, you treat her good and she is good to you. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says you have jannat in house, in your house. Your home becomes Jannat, your home becomes paradise. You have a daughter and you are happy with her. Not only happy by showing people that mm, I'm happy, like in Dilme, Khaisha Beteka. No, truly happy. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, look at my fingers. Look at my fingers. See how close these two are? Like that you will be with me in Jannat. Yeh hai maqam aurat ka. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to travel, The very last person, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would greet and visit would be his daughter Fatima to Zahra radiallahu ta'ala anha. That Fatima, whom Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says about Fatima to bid'atum minni. Fatima is a piece of me, of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa Fatima tu binti wa ummi abiha. Aw kama qala alayhi salam. Fatima is my daughter and she is also the mother of her father. Now that's a strange thing. How can she have two qualifications, daughter and mother. Hadrat Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha asks, Ya Rasulullah, what is it that you said? What do you mean by that? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Aisha, when I see Fatima, and by the way, when Fatima to Zahra radiallahu ta'ala anha used to visit the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet used to stand up for her. Ta'zeem ke liye, huzoor beti ka maqam dekha rahe The Prophet used to stand up for his own daughter. And he used to kiss her hands. And when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to visit Fatima, she used to stand up and kiss her father's hands. So Hadrat Aisha Siddiqa radiallahu ta'ala anha asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is it that you mean? She's your daughter and your mother? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Aisha, when I hug my daughter, then I feel the love of a daughter and I'm being proud, being her father. And when Fatima hugs me, that reminds me of my mother. قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ مِنَ اللَّهِ نُورِ So the Prophet was asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell us about yourself. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, 
انا دعوت ابي ابراهيم وبشارت عيسى حين ودعتني مزارا تو سبحان اللہ کہہ دیجئے سب مل کر کہو سبحان اللہ انا دعوت ابی ابراہیم I am the result the fruit of the dua of Hadrat Ibrahim Khalilullah alayhi salam which dua after completing Kaabatullah Hadrat Ibrahim alayhi salam made a dua Surah Baqarah long dua but at the end he says Rabbana wa bu'as fihim Send a prophet, a messenger, and my descendants. And at the end of that ayat, the karima, he says, "Yuzaki him inna ka anta alazizul hakim." A prophet. That will come and purify them. Who will clean them. Not the outside, but the inside. He will clean the inside. Like that soul. I only have three minutes left, by the way. Like that soul. When the soul first entered the body of Hadrat Adam alayhi salam, Allah ordered. Enter this body. The ruh entered the body. Found darkness came out straight away. Because the ruh was in Jannat. And in Jannat there is no darkness. All light, nurun ala nur. So the ruh straight away came out. Allah said, What happened? I ordered you to enter that body, not to come out again. Stay in inside. Ya Allah, too dark. I'm afraid. What did Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala do? Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala ordered the lights, the nur. Nur Muhammadi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to shine on the forehead of Hadrat Adam alayhi salatu wa salam. And the whole body from head to toe was enlightened. The ruh went inside again. And when Allah said, you coming out? No, Ya Allah. I'm very comfortable in here. So this nur came to purify us, our inner. Then the Prophet sallallahu says, Wa basharatu Isa. And I am the glad tidings given by Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Wa mubashiram bi rasulin ya'ti min ba'di. يأتي من بعد اسمه أحمد. إيسا عليه الصلاة والسلام says I came to you not to stay with you but to convey to you the message 
that after me will come another messenger, his name will be Ahmad. What will his name be? Rasulullah has four names. Along with those 99 names, the Prophet has four names, which we call Zati Naam. His personal names. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Ahmad Hamid Mahmud Four names of Rasulullah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wasallam And why did Isa Alayhi Salam use the name Ahmad? Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says Ana Muhammadun Wa Ahmadun Muhammadun fil ardi wa Ahmadun fi sama. I am known on earth by the name Muhammad, and in the heavens, I am known by the name Ahmad. Isa alayhi salam kaha hai? Kaha hai? Asman par hai. وَرُؤِيَا أُمِّي الَّتِي رَأَتْ حِينَ وَدَعَتْنِي I am the dream. The dream that my mother saw. The dream that she saw when she gave birth to me. What, did she, what was her dream? Hadrat Amina radiyallahu ta'ala anha says, just before I gave birth to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I dreamt and I saw the far east, I saw the far west, I saw Kaaba. I saw the throne of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala in my dreams. And in all these places, I saw a flag. Mene Janda Dekha. And written on those flags was La Ilaha Illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala showed me the kingdom of Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Time is up. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala said dua kare ki Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala hamare zahir ko bhi, hamare batin ko bhi, munawar aur muattar farmaye ishke Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ke noor se inshallah ul aziz Probably tomorrow we will continue. Wa ma alayna illa al bulaghul mubin. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sharaf al anbiya wa ala alihi wa sahabihi al faizin. Amma bad fa'uzu billahi min al shaytani wa rajim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hazirin adosto, khwatin humari ma bihne. First thing first. میں اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ کا بڑا شکر گزار ہوں دل کی گہرائی سے ممنون ہوں کہ اللہ تبارک و تعالیٰ نے آج کے اس محافل میں ہمیں شرکت فرمانے کے لئے توفیق عنایت عطا فرمائی ہے آج کا ہمارا ڈیوٹی جو ہے وہ ہے کہ ہم آپ تمام کا شکر یادہ کریں میرا پیج میرا پاس بات فور فائف پیجز ہم لے کر آئے تھے لیکن سب کو پڑھنا ایسے وقت پر ظاہر نہیں ہوتا ہے اور بہترین لفظوں میں کہا جائے تمہیں آپ تمام کا بہت بہت شکریہ ادا کرنا چاہتا ہوں I on behalf of مولت الاسلام trust of New Zealand would like to thank Allah سبحانہ وتعالی for giving us the biggest opportunity یہ سب سے بڑی دولت ہی ہمارے لئے to celebrate Mulud al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
On this very special occasion, I would like to thank you all for your attendance and appreciate your generous contribution to our association over the years we've been in New Zealand. To me, up to Mamki, Dilke Geherai se shukriya da karna chata hoon. Jab se hum yaha par apna center ko kaim kiya hai, usse pehle bhi Allah Tubarak wa Ta'ala se dua gu hoon ki Allah Tubarak wa Ta'ala aapne jis tariqa se bhi hum tamam ko khidmat pish ki hai, Allah Tubarak wa Ta'ala tamam ko iske jazai khair ta firmai. I, on behalf of all of you, the executive members of the trust would like to thank our chief guest. The chief guest for tonight for accepting our invitation on this occasion. None other than Molana Faisal Madarun. We are fortunate to have you here on this occasion. And Allah Tubarak wa Ta'ala aapke ilam mein zafa farmai aur isi tariqa se hamare beech mein aane ke liye aapko aur bhi taufeeq ata farmai. He is not new to us. Maulana Faisal, aap jante hain ke Fiji mein, Fiji mein abhi bhi jakar wo aapna takreer jo hai, wo pesh kar ke aahi. Fir se pehle hum ne fir bulaya tha yaha par hamare liye aur bhi takreer ki hai. Aur aaj masha Allah wo hamare beech mein fir milad un nabi ke jalsa mein شرکت فرما ہے میں اب تمام کے طرف سے مولانا صاحب کا بہت بہت شکریہ عدا کرنا چاہتا ہوں شکریہ بیفور آئی سٹارٹ ٹو ٹیک لسٹ آف نینز آئی ہیو ایک بگ لسٹ ایز آئی سیڈ بات فرسٹلی آئی لائک ٹو تینک آل آف یو ٹو بی پریزنٹ ہی این آل آف یو ہی ہیو ٹیکن پارٹ ان اینی وی ٹو میک دس جلسا ای ویری ویری سکسیسفل ون We had a team of decorators, a job well done. Sound system, we have got brother DJ Dinesh, and then I would like to thank the others who are present, who have done something, but it's in their own selves. They don't want to be mentioned. But since uh, this morning when I was at the center, the masjid, we had our hard-working cooking team there. A big shed was done. Though it was raining, but they managed to do a very beautiful job. I had an opportunity to taste a few, but then, you know, the cook has to be strict on, on the line, so I had enough. So just to say, when I go and stand up there, I can say it's good. So, alhamdulillah, they've done a very good job. I would like to thank Brother Muhammad Ayub, and uh, led by Brother Farooq and his team, and it's the cooking. They've been doing the cooking from the morning. So, alhamdulillah, Allah tubarak wa ta'ala se dua hai, khidmat karne ke liye unko mila, aur unhoni bhi bohat acha kaam kiya hai. Allah tubarak wa ta'ala, ab tamam ko jazai khair ata farmai. Habibi and his crew, catering crew, um, I'm saying they're walking around, they're setting up their tables. So there you are, they will be there to serve you. And um, if there is any hiccups, please, maaf kar dena. Kyunke, aisa wakt hota hai, abhi hum log jaldi jaldi mein karenge, fir jayenge namaz poorenge, uske baad mein fir aayenge, fir hum thora crowd mein ho jayenge. Lekin kuch bhi ho, aap barahe karam meherbani karna. پھر میں ان لوگوں کو شکریہ کرنا چاہتا ہوں ہمارے پاس بہت سی چیف کس یہاں پر بیٹھے ہوئے آئے ہوئے مہمان ہیں وہ ہمارے مہمان کے ہم قدر نہیں کریں گے تو کہیں گے کہ ہم وہاں گیا تھا اور ہمارا کوئی بھی ایسا ایسا ہمارا فنکس بھی نہیں کیا تو میں چاہوں گا شکر ادا کرنے کے لیے ساؤت اقلیم مسلم اسوسییشن کا بہت ریپس یہاں پر ہے بہت سے ایگزیگیٹیو میمبرز بھی یہاں پر موجود ہے خاص کر کے ہمارے پرسیڈن صاحب وہاں پر ہے جنرل سیکرٹری ادھر ہے اور پھر اسی طریقہ سے تمام میمبران بھی موجود ہے میں تمام کا شکریہ دہ کرتے ہوئے دوبرگہ شکریہ دہ کرنا چاہتا ہوں کہ آپ آئے حوصلہ افضائی ہوئی ہے ہملٹن مسلم لیگ سے بھی ہمارے صدر صاحب حسن بھائی یہاں پر موجود ہے میں ان کا بھی بہت بہت شکریہ دہ کرنا چاہتا ہوں 
आज अगर चाहे आप लोगों देखा होगा हमारे बीच में कम्युनिटी पुलिस मनुकाओ डस्ट्रिक से यहाँ पर मौजूद है मैं उनका भी बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहता हूँ वो हमारे लिए एक रहनुमा है वो हमारे लिए हमारे लिए काम करती हैं और जिस तरीके से फरमाया गया कि दे आर लुकिंग फॉर गुड सिटीजन्स टू कम अप एंड जॉइन द पुलिस फोर्स अगर हमारे नौजवान के पास वो ताकत है आप प्लीज फॉलो अप कर ले और पुलिस सिस्टम में ज्वाइन होने के लिए कोशिश करिए ये हमारे लिए बहुत जरूरी है कि हमारे पीपल उसमें रहे आखिर में मैं आप तमाम का बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहता हूँ वक्त ज्यादा होता है मैं सलाह तो सलाम अभी बचा है उसके बाद में फिर इन शाह दुआ से हम खात्मा पर पहुंचाएंगे और मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि वक्त से आज का जो प्रोग्राम है हमारा वो हम खात्मा पर पहुंचाएंगे इनशाला फ्यू अनाउंसमेंट है वेस्ट ऑकलैंड मिलाद कमेटी जो है रानू मस्जिद में अपना जो प्रोग्राम है वो कर रहे हैं यह होगा फिफ्टीन ऑफ दिसंबर फिफ्टीन ऑफ डिसंबर थोड़ा दूर है लेकिन आप ख्याल करें अभी से मार्क कर ले कि वहां पर हमारा जो प्रोग्राम है वो होगा स्टार्ट एट सिक्स पी एम रानोई मस्जिद में और मदर ड्राइव रानोई तो आप ख्याल करें ये बात को कि हमें हमारा जो अखरी तकरीबन में होगा हम वहां पर जाए और अपना मीलाद नबी का जो प्रोग्राम है वहां पर जरूर शिरकत फरमाए स्पीकर होंगे हाजी जब मलिक फ्रॉम मेलबर्न ऑस्ट्रेलिया से और द फाइनल वन हमारा जो नेशनल प्रोग्राम होगा वो कल मलायोला हॉल में होगा ये ऑफ टाइडल रोड पर है वहां पर आप जाए सुबह से अपना जो प्रोग्राम है वो वहां पर होगी तीन ओ क्लॉक से आप तमाम को दावत दी जा रही है आप इसमें शिरकत फरमाते हुए सवाबेदारे इनको हासिल करें अलहमदुल्ला अल्लाह का शुक्र अदा करते हुए मैं आप तमाम का शुक्रिया बुझा लाता हूँ और तमाम का शुक्र करते हुए दुआ है अल्लाह तबार को तला से कि आइंदा साल इसी तरीके से आप हमारे साथ में रहे और हमारा जो प्रोग्राम्स है उनको तस्लीम करते हुए इसमें शिरकत फरमाए अल्लाह हाफिज वसलम इन शलात सलाम होगी और सलात सलाम के बाद में दुआ होगा छोटा सा अशार में पेश करूँगा मौलवी साहब बोले टाइम नहीं है तो मैं संगीत में मंत्र बोले लेकिन छोटा से बोलेगा गम के बादल छट गए अब रहमत आ गए मोमिनो खुशियां मनाओ कमली वाला आ गए कल मैं हेमल्टन में था तो बहुत अच्छा लगा ये अंदाज कहते हैं गम के बादल छा गए अब रहमत आ गए मोमिनो खुशियां मनाओ कमली वाला आ गए आमना के गोद में चमका सितारा नूर का आमना के गोद में चमका सितारा नूर का मोमिनो खुशियां मनाओ कमली वाला आ गया मोमिनो खुशियों मनाओ कमली वाला आ गया गोद में लेकर हलीमा सारिया ने यू कहा गोद में लेकर हलीमा सारिया यू कहा रहमतों के गीत गाओ कमली वाला आ गया रहमतों के गीत गाओ कमली वाला आ गया इंशाल्लाह हम सब खड़े हुए और फिर सलाम अर्ज करिए
کے جو اولاد ہیں ان کے اولادوں کو اللہ اور اس کے رسول اور ماں باپ کا فرما بردار بنا جو بے اولاد ہیں ان کو بھی تو نیک اور سالم اولاد کی دولت عطا فرما یا اللہ جو قرض دار ہے اس کو قرضہ سے تو چھٹکارا عطا فرما یا اللہ جو پریشان حال ہے اس کی پریشانی کو تو دور فرما یا اللہ عالم اسلام پر اپنا خاص حضر اور کرم فرما ہمارے بچوں کو اسلام کا جھنڈا بلند کرنے کی توفیق عطا فرما ایسے محافظ میں بار بار شریف ہونے کی ہم سب کو توفیق جمیل عطا فرما فعود عمری اللہ ان اللہ بصیر بالعباد بفضل سبحان ربک رب العزت عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين لا موسیس صاحب الکرام ما بہنے کے لیے نماز کے پیچھے نوازہ اس طرف جگہ بنائی گئی ہے اور ہم بھائیوں کے لیے فرنڈ میں جگہ بنائی گئی انشاءاللہ ازان کے بعد ہم وہاں پر تشریف فرمائیں Hey, I'm a seller. 